In this segment, I'm going to take a look at the Photo Click tool, which is found here on the left-hand side at the bottom of your design toolbar. So before I can use it, I'm going to need to bring in an image onto my screen. And so I'll go ahead and choose Insert Image. And I guess, first of all, I'll travel to the Embroidery Album folder. And we'll start with the Photo Click image that came with Digitizer. Now basically this is a photograph that's been converted into black and white, which is one of the techniques that you can use when processing images for photo click, but it's certainly not uh, required. And I will demonstrate using a, photo, a color photograph that you can get the same results. Now, basically, this is the photo click tool here, and you'll see on the flyout that there's two options. We have photo click, oops, sorry, I've, I went right to the option. Um, Clicking right on the little triangle there will fly it out, and you've got Photo Click Instantly and Photo Click Advanced. Basically, Instantly just processes the photo with the last settings that you used when you ran it when you used the Advanced mode. But why don't we just go ahead and look at the Advanced mode then? When when you choose Photo Click Advanced, you have three main settings. The first one is the resolution that talks about the number of lines that go get stitched across your artwork and we'll just leave it set at medium for now. You've got your background color if it's a standard photograph it'll normally have a light background um, but if you have like a bit of a negative image you can choose the opposite and have the darks be have a dark background so that it recognizes that. Uh, and then you have the fill grain angle and that's the direction the stitches sew across the image and I'm just going to leave that at zero for now and then we'll come back and sort of edit those and see how it changes the results. So I'll just say OK and you'll see what it's done. So it's basically processed the embroidery from the photograph and I'll take a little bit closer look and you can see here maybe I'll turn true view on or visualizer the, the rows of, of stitches that go back and forth and they get thinner where it's light areas and thicker where it's dark areas. And if I was to look at the, um, the settings, you'd remember we had set it to be at zero for the grain angle. And we'd gone with medium for the number of rows of resolution. Now, I can go in and edit that at any time. So, for example, if we decided we'd rather have it be high for the resolution, and maybe instead of zero, sometimes changing the thread to go across on a bit of an angle gives you more details. And so I'll say OK to this. And it reprocesses the artwork. And, and now you can see that, first of all, there's more lines of embroidery. And they go on, on that 45 degree angle. And so you can see um, you know, approximately what the results are going to look like. Now, that's a fairly dark image that was done in black and white. And um, certainly, it does not have to be that. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a photograph at all. Why don't I just start a new window? And I'll insert an image, and this time I'm going to insert just that um, graduation bitmap artwork. And so if I go ahead and choose this photo click to design, and again, we can just leave the settings at medium, grain angle zero, background light, and say OK. Now, if I take a close look at what the software has done, I'll zoom in. So you can see that it's made lines going back and forth at zero, and it just gets thicker wherever there was dark parts to the embroidery, and it's thinner for wherever it's light. And so if I hide the image, you can get an idea of what it turned out like. So it doesn't have to be a photograph to use this photo click instantly tool or advanced. Um, but certainly photographs are the intended use for this tool. And what I'm going to do now, I'll start another new image or new design. And this time I have a photograph, a color photograph that I took with my camera and I just saved it to my desktop and it's in JPEG format. So here's the image that I, I have prepared and I'll just open that up. Now, first of all, it's a pretty big image. And even with my um, square hoop for my MC11000, you can see that the photograph's quite big. So maybe one thing I'll do is just reduce the size of my photograph. And the other thing I might want to do is to crop. So I can use the image crop tool and I'll just crop this image to give me um, a little bit less background. There. So now I've got a photograph and I've sized it and cropped it and it's ready to go. And now if I use that photo click um, to advanced option, and I think this time I'll go with 
high or even extra high for the lines of resolution just so we can see the difference and I'll change the grain angle to be oh I don't know 60 degrees and say OK and so it goes ahead and processes the photograph into embroidery and if I take a close look here now we can see and I'll just zoom in really closely when I went to extra high, look how many more lines of resolution there are. And maybe if I just dis don't display the image, you can see it a little bit better. So I took a photo color photograph and I processed it to be that one color photo click. And I've got it set on the extra high setting, which gives you the most amount of embroidery and the most number of lines and also the num most number of stitches. So if you want to change that, maybe back it off to be just high or change the angle to be 25 degrees instead of 60 degrees you can change make these changes at any time and basically you can kinda of get an idea on your screen of what it's gonna look like and then when you stitch it out you'll get the full effect and certainly with this photo click um, when it's stitched out and you hold it back a little bit you have a lot better ability to see the picture then you know if you zoom in really closely on it it's hard to be able to fully see what it's gonna look like so yeah that's photo click and it's a fairly easy tool to use you just turn it on you have a few settings for it and you can get some really interesting results and certainly beautiful embroidery designs with the photo click tool